All right, what's going on guys? I know it's been a minute since I made a video, so let's get to it. Today, I'm going to be doing the um, 6,000 mile review on my 2016 Ford Focus ST. And I do apologize for not uh, uploading videos like I usually do. So we're just gonna do a quick little overview of what I have done to the car. So I have the Roush cold air intake. I have the Boomba Racing blow off valve. I have the Mishimoto J-Line intercooler. I also have the MBRP XP, XP series exhaust with a uh, resonator muffler delete, whichever one you want to call it. And I absolutely love the way it sounds. I have the red rally armor mud flaps. Um, I have the Cobb access port V3. I'm running the uh, Cobb Stage 3 V400 map. Later on this month, hopefully end of the month or beginning of August, I will be going to Dublin, Georgia, where my tuner is based out of, and get on the dyno and get my E85 tuned and then get my full tune for my Stage 3. I was tuned for him, or through him, Stage 2. Uh, and uh, since I got my uh, downpipe, running full stage three. Oh, that's another mod. I have the uh, Depo Racing High Folk Cat, and it made this car sound amazing. See if you guys can hear it. I absolutely love the way this car sounds. So far, I'm a little over 6,000 miles. I have 6,258 miles on the car. It's had one oil change. I will be doing the next oil change myself and I'll be doing a how-to video on the um, Focus ST, how to change your oil. I'd say the most complicated install that I had to do would probably either have to be the intercooler or the downpipe. The downpipe was hard because of the uh, how much room you don't have to move. Turbo Smart 5050, you have to do maintenance on it. Who wants to worry 
about that, not me. So I made a good decision and got the uh, and got the off the house. I think it sounds good. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear it. I don't know if the GoPro is gonna be able to pick it up, but in combination with the the downpipe, the full exhaust, the motor air taking the boom wall valve, this car just sounds amazing. And here a little bit whenever I get stopped. I'll put the camera on the back and let you guys hear the exhaust from the outside. It sounds really good. It may be too loud to some people, but hey, it ain't their car. Also, if, uh, any, of, if any of you other guys out there have an ST, and you guys have any questions, comment down below. I'll be glad to answer any of your questions, tell you where I got my parts from, etc. Stuff like that. Other than that, having 6,000 miles on the car, it performs and handles just as good as the day I got it. I don't ever have any issues out of it. I just did a complete detail of it. I compounded the whole car, polished the car, and then sealed it with some uh, liquid wax. The car looks great. And if you guys haven't already, go follow me on Instagram. It's Torres1183. I'll put the name of it right here. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to drop down the fourth gear. Let's see what this thing sounds like. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Hopefully it's not too windy in the cabin. Just throw these windows up and see if it makes a difference. Of course, I won't know until I'm editing. any of you guys are from Alabama but it is 93 degrees and the humidity is just through the roof it's too damn hot to do anything this is one thing I do not like about Alabama I sounded really country about that Alabama Alabama by far if you have an ST very first mods I recommend is to be definitely a colder intake. The Bumbo Racing Blow Off Valve, just because it sounds badass to me. And then, of course, exhaust. And then, depending on how heavily modded you want to go, I would get the Depo Racing Catalyst downpipe. I was talking to another friend who has an ST, and he said it's only a one horsepower difference from the Catalyst and the, cat and the high flow cat. I was like, wow, one horsepower is really just, and it's even cheaper. They call it a test pipe, so, oh well, I still like it. I can't wait to see uh, what this car is going to do now that it's full stage 3 on E85. If you guys don't have E85 where you're from, sorry, that shit sucks, because E85, we're making the E30 mixture. This car is, I just love driving it with it. Although it does go through gas a whole hell of a lot more than running straight E93. Uh, so currently right now, I'm getting 28.5 miles to the gallon, which is very good. And uh, with this release, I think it was on the, uh, the last map too, but with the V400 map, the slot two is economy mode. I think whenever I was driving around, I didn't get, I think it wouldn't let me get over six or seven pounds of boost. So it can help you like if you're on the interstate, but it could also hurt you because like if you're trying to merge into traffic or get onto a ramp or something and you need the power to get there you're gonna be lagging it right there so i don't ever drive in economy mode i'm pretty happy with 28 and a half miles per gallon and some days it gets 29 some days it gets 30 i guess it all just depends on my driving habit or i like it a lot and i just want to thank you guys so much for watching i'm trying to grow this channel and get more content but i can't do that if i don't upload any more videos so I'm going to try out doing this vlogging style videos and see what you guys think. So comment down below and tell me what you guys think about my car and this vlogging type style video. And if you guys would like to see more of this, then I can provide that content for you. Inspired me to get on YouTube 
TJ Hunt, David Patterson, and Evan Shanks. I love you guys. I watch your videos all the time. Good stuff. Just a good car. All right, so I'm gonna pull over here and I'm gonna put the camera on the bumper and let you guys hear that. So stay tuned for, uh, for this clip. All right, here we go. what the, my exhaust sounds like now once again that is a high flow cat from depo racing and then the mbrp xp series um, exhaust with a resonator or muffler delete so i'm gonna end today's video in my garage we'll just take a quick walk around my car Car parts. If you have it, go follow me on Instagram. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. All right, so that's going to be it for today's video. Comment down below and tell me what you think. Leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Peace.